Welcome back to the channel. I'm Keith, and today we'll cover explosion-proof motors. Safety for yourself, your team, and your equipment is top priority. So, understanding how these motors work is key. Today we'll answer, what's an explosion-proof motor? Is a class one div two motor explosion proof? And how to select a motor for hazardous locations. But before we dive in, I'd appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. Then you'll be notified when we post our next video and it helps us reach a larger audience. We're working with ABB Balder Reliance Explosion Proof Motor today, a brand trusted by industry professionals globally. They're a fan favorite here in Canada, in part because ABB NEMA motors are manufactured close to home in North America. So, what's an explosion proof motor? Explosion proof motors must be able to contain an internal explosion of specific hazardous materials without creating an ignition source. It's assumed that over some time, the gases and vapors in the atmosphere could make their way inside the motor. If those gases did encounter the internal elements, it could produce a spark or generate excessive heat. A spark could ignite the dangerous gases inside the motor. If the explosion was not contained, the motor could start a domino effect of explosions on a work site. To contain the explosion, these motors are designed with thick cast iron or steel cases to contain the pressure of an initial explosion. They must allow hot gases to escape in a controlled way that doesn't create an ignition source. To release the gases in a controlled way, these motors have flame paths. Gases can escape while being cooled to a safe temperature. See in this non-explosion proof motor, we have this small spigot here. Notice how much larger it is in the explosion proof motor. We also have a flame seal on the explosion proof. This is right next to the bearing and it spins inside the motor. There's a tiny gap between the flame seal and the casing, maybe 0.3 millimeters on this motor. That's a small enough gap that any flames inside the motor will be dampened, but the rotor can still rotate. Are TEFC motors explosion proof? TEFC means the motor is dust tight and has a moderate water seal. So these should be explosion proof too, right? Actually, no, these are not necessarily explosion proof. Explosion proof motors often have a TEFC enclosure, but the flame paths are a key feature of the motor being explosion proof. Although the TEFC motor is dust tight and protects against some water ingress, it's possible that some air from the atmosphere could enter the internals of the motor and ignite. A standard TEFC motor does not have flame paths. We also need to consider the T-code rating. A T-code specifies the max temperature that any part of the motor surface will reach, including the event of a burnout, power overload, or locked rotor. This T-code must be compared to the auto ignition temperature of the hazardous materials at a site to determine if the motor surfaces pose a risk of ignition. There are six different temperature classes, T1 through T6, and I put those details in the video description. Explosion proof motors will have a T-code rating stamped on the motor, whereas a standard TFC motor does not. I get this question a lot. Are class one Div2 motors explosion proof? Before I dive into this question, here's some context on what class and division means. The class of hazardous location describes the form that the hazardous material takes within it. There are three classes, gas form, dust form, or large particulate form. The division of a hazardous location describes the conditions under which the hazardous materials is present. Either the material is present under normal conditions or the material is exposed under only abnormal conditions. A class one div two worksite means one, the hazardous material is in gas or vapor form and two, the material is exposed only under abnormal conditions. So the question is, are explosion proof motors still required if the hazardous substance may be present, but not under normal circumstances. For example, a facility that handles flammable gases, but those gases are confined within a closed system. If an accident occurred and the gases escaped, they could enter the motor. Because the chances of exposure are low, an explosion proof motor is not required. Class one, div two is another classification of motor, essentially a step down from an explosion proof motor. While they don't come with flame paths, they do come with non-sparking fans and a specific T-code rating. One of the biggest risks in a class one div two job site is that the motor could overload and could create a spark. It's especially important to do preventative maintenance on class one div two motors to prevent overload. You shouldn't use a standard single phase motor on a class one div two job site 
because single phase motors do generate spark on startup. Typically, a single phase explosion proof motor is used on class one div two sites if only single phase power is available. So explosion proof motors are used for class one div one job sites. Class one div two job sites have their own category of motor. That's a lot of information to absorb. I've included some additional details in the description for your reference. If you're not sure which motor to select for your hazardous location, leave me a comment below or contact our team at emotorsdirect.ca. I'm Keith with eMotors Direct, Canada's electric motor supplier. Thanks for tuning in.